Did you know that in Redshift for Cinema 4D you can enhance the existing Maxon noise shaders to completely new structures with just a few clicks? With the Maxon noise node, Redshift for Cinema 4D includes the popular noise shaders from Cinema 4D. In addition to common parameters such as noise type, seed, scale, etc., there are five often overlooked parameters for creating completely new structures. The first one is Cycles, which is also included with the noises in the classic material system. Cycles acts like a remapping with a black and white gradient with numerous knots and creates nested structures that remind of the annual rings of a tree. With enough cycles you can give a noise, for example, a characteristic that is more like a veining than the original soft gradients. The next noise parameter is redshift specific, it's the offset. With the offset port, a noise can be shifted along the three spatial axes. If another noise is plugged in here, it acts like a distorter shader and creates hybrid structures from the two noises involved. The brightness of the first noise can be used to influence the strength of the offset in the second noise. In contrast to the native distorter shader node, this will also work with bump mapping. Lacunarity and Gain are also redshift-specific parameters. Both affect six noise types, for example displaced Voronoi noise, please see video description. Lacunarity corresponds to the parameter octaves, that means the calculation passes or the self-similarity of the noise. Lacunarity simply controls the size of the noise structures per octave. So, with a higher number of octaves and lowered lacunarity, simplified structures can be created, looking more defined than just by lowering the numbers of octaves. Gain adds the brightness of each octave, producing more detailed and contrasty structures at lower values and more simplified structures at higher values. While lacunarity and gain are not meant to produce spectacular variations, the following parameter does. The exponent parameter affects four Voronoi noises, see video description. Lower values tend to deflate existing structures, higher values inflate them. For example, the circle structures of a Voronoi 1 noise can be deflated into star-like structures with a low exponent and inflated to round squares with a higher exponent. Or have a look at Voronoi 3. A higher exponent combined with an increased number of cycles produces a city map or circuit board-like structure that is very different from good old Voronoi 3 noise. As we can see, the already rich feature set of Maxon noise shaders is greatly enhanced by the parameters described so far. In this example, the marble look of the windowsill has been created by overlaying a handful of noise shaders with each other, each with increased cycle values, to recreate the veining structure of marble. Please have a look at the finished project Light is Just Fine Now via the link below. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Ratchet for Cinema 4D every Wednesday on this channel.